What's up guys? So today I wanted to make a quick unboxing video for you. I know not everybody finds this stuff super interesting. However, I got some really cool stuff in the mail this past week and you will be seeing all of it in future videos. So I figured today would be a great way to introduce it to the channel. So the first order was from Amazon.com. I do have Amazon Prime and I love it. And uh, while I was shopping for some things, I picked up two of these brushes. Now these are from Chemical Guys. I think they were eight or nine dollars each and I'm gonna dedicate one of them for an interior brush and the other one for wheels. So they are pretty versatile, but I don't have any brushes to use on wheels that are delicate or for my interior that is delicate. So you will be seeing both of these used in future detailing videos I will come out with in the springtime. Also, I got a new dash cam. Now, many of you already know, I do have a Papago P3 dash cam for the front windshield of my vehicle. However, a couple weeks ago, I had people tailgating me and acting crazy, so I decided it was time to invest in a dash cam for my rear window. Now, I have never used this dash cam before. I've never used this brand, but it is a GoLuck T3 dash cam. You could find it on Amazon. I believe this was like about $100. Uh, they do have different versions, but um, I'm going to be installing this at some point. Um, not super crazy that it has a chrome ring around the lens. I don't know why they do that. Uh, most people who get dash cams want them to be stealth and low key, as do I. So I will probably uh, paint that black or something so it's not super obvious, but I will be installing this in my rear window. Furthermore, I got this, which is a kit for hardwiring it into the fuse box. So I didn't want to add another 12 volt outlet to my car. I don't need another one. Um, and I'm going to tap this into the fuse box and I'll show you guys an install video on that so that I could run power directly uh, to this dash cam from the fuse box. So I am pretty excited about that. I've wanted a rear facing dash cam for a long time just to catch people's reactions, people cussing me out, flipping me off. And if somebody rear ends me or tailgates me, that's also a great use for a dash cam. So I am super excited about that. Also, I have Something a little bit less exciting, probably a little bit nerdy. Uh, this is a tube of grease. And you're probably like, what the hell are you doing with a huge tube of grease? But this is for my new suspension, which will be coming in in a couple weeks. And one of the issues that I've had with my current suspension, which is uh, Fortune Auto 500 coilovers, is they have seized up. Uh, the height adjustment has been seized for years. A lot of other things have seized up because of the corrosion. I live in PA, we use salt on the roads in winter and there's really no way to avoid it. And that salt is very corrosive and it dries everything out and it just screws up everything. So this is marine grease. It's actually made for boat trailers, which means it's uh, specifically formulated for salt water and it's meant to be waterproof. So I will be using this on the threads for the height adjustment and some other areas. So hopefully um, my coilovers will last longer and they won't seize up. You will see a video on me applying this once I do get my suspension in and I'm ready to install it. So I know it's not super exciting, but I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this because hopefully it will work and it will keep my suspension working great. That's all I got from Amazon. The next package is from Ammo NYC. I know you guys have heard me talk about this in the past. Ammo is pretty much my go-to company for detailing products because I love them. It's not the only great company out there. A lot of you guys use other products and that's awesome. But uh, I got a new shipment from Ammo and I got some really cool stuff. So I'm gonna unbox all of this right now. First of all, I have microfiber towels. I have more microfiber towels. These are high quality microfibers. These aren't your super cheap ones that you find at like Walmart or Home Depot. So I'm going to uh, wash these before I use them. I'll probably do a video on washing microfiber towels. Um, Larry Casilla has a video on washing them and how to wash them properly, but I know you guys don't always wanna watch his videos and you watch my videos. So I will be showing you how to care for your microfiber towels. I'll have some more uh, nerdy detailing videos coming out for you guys who are into detailing. Now is the really exciting part. I got some other really cool stuff. So. This right here is his new product that he just came out with fairly recently. This is called Reflex and it's a foundation coat. Um, after you wash your car, you apply this once or twice a year. 
I will be doing videos on all of this stuff and how to use it. I will also always put a link in the description down below of those videos, linking to some of Larry's videos where he's explaining how to use his products. So this is a base coat. It's really meant to help protect um, your paint even more than just wax or just a, a sealant or something like that. So uh, this wasn't super cheap, but I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I will be applying this. You'll see more of that. Furthermore, I got Shag Fabric Cleaner. Now, I have used Shag in the past, and it's always been awesome. It's a great cleaner. I just ordered more because I am out. And I also have his Wheel Regimen Kit, which I'll open for you guys right now. And in his Wheel Wet Regimen Kit, he includes three different products. This is awesome packaging. Inside the box, he used bubble wrap, which is great. So first of all, you have Plum Wheel Cleaner. You've seen me use this before. Um, I will be using this again. I ran out of it, so I had to pick up some more of that. And this is Brute Wheel Soap. And both of these products here, both of these get used together and they are very effective. Uh, like I said, they're not the only products out there, but they do do a great job and you don't have to use as much elbow grease or work as hard to loosen up the dirt when you use them. Also, he includes sprayers with everything. I have more mud tire gel, and I just did a video on this tire gel recently. I ordered more, and I actually still have a whole bottle left, or at least a half a bottle, roughly, uh, but I wanted to just get the whole wheel regimen kit. I use this stuff a lot, and it lasts a long time, but. I would rather just get all three products together instead of just getting two and then have to, having to order this in another six months to a year. Also, I got Amos Paint Regimen Kit. Now, this wheel regimen kit and the shag I have used before. I have never used any of their um, paint products, which I'm very excited about. If I could find my razor blade, I'll cut this open for you. If you have seen any of Larry's videos on his website or on his YouTube page, I'll drop a link in the description down below, or maybe I'll use a card. I'm kind of on a kit of using cards because they're very easy to do. Um, he explains all this stuff in the thought process behind his designing of these products. So a lot of companies, to me, it seems like they just throw out products and they hope that it, they work. They're just kind of half-assed when it comes to making them work and figuring out the formulas and the chemistry. Larry goes above and beyond whenever he tries to figure out uh, exactly what he wants his products to do. So I am very excited about these paint products because they all have been carefully uh, calculated and formulated to be very effective. So I have skin, which is a sealant, and you apply this quarterly, I believe, when I do videos, uh, you guys will get the full details on all of these products. But I have Ammo Skin, which is for your paint. I have Foam uh, Paint Cleanser, which is a, a paint cleaner that is formulated specifically for your paint. Instead of using random junk like this, this is actually Meguiar's Deep Crystal Car Wash. Um, I know a lot of guys like Gold Class, and Gold Class I think is a lot better than this. Uh, this is like seven or eight bucks at AutoZone or wherever. And it works, but it's not super great. It's not super easy on your paint. Um, where this is, this is formulated to break down the dirt more effectively without destroying your paint. Some guys use uh, dish soap and stuff like that, but that's way too harsh on your paint. So you will be seeing more of this. Also, I have Hydrate, which is kind of a unique product. Uh, usually after people are done washing their cars, they dry them with a chamois or something like that. This hydrate is used in uh, conjunction with a microfiber towel to help you dry your paint safely. Uh, there's actually a lot of scratches and things like that that are put into the paint in the driving, drying process. And hydrate is something that you can use to dry your car and it also helps protect it. So I'm kind of excited to use this. And lastly, I have Spit Emergency Shine, which is Larry's um, quick wet wax, like a detailing wax. Uh, something if you get a little bit of bird poop on your car, let's say, and your whole car is clean otherwise, other than that one spot, you can use this. Uh, you could use this when you go to a car show just as a light cleaner to get rid of some of the dust and stuff like that. So 
That is the paint regimen kit. I am very excited about it. I'm excited to have all of these products, the wheel products. Um, I'm kind of geeked out on detailing. I do enjoy detailing and there's nothing better than detailing your car on a nice day, which it is today. However, I'm not detailing my car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for those of you who do enjoy it, I hope you are impressed with these products. I'm very excited to use them. And I have a lot more things coming, especially with my Road to PVGP series. You'll be seeing all of these things used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.